The president of the Presidency of Defense Industries, Professor Dr. Hailuk Gorgun, put an end to the debates that arose on social media regarding the Khan fighter jet's engine. Following Foreign Minister Hakan Fidan's announcement that the U.S. was holding up the export agreement for the F-110 engines to be used in the Khan fighter jet in Congress, various social media headlines were raised. SSB President Gorgon issued a comprehensive statement on the matter. Gorgon's statements are as follows. Khan mass production was planned using a domestic engine, not a foreign one. Development activities for the Khan fighter jet's main engine, the TF-35000, and the APU-60 auxiliary power unit are successfully ongoing. The process always works this way in the defense industry. First, existing engines are used, and then national engine projects are implemented. We're developing Khan using a block approach. That is, we're developing it gradually, adding versions with different capabilities to the inventory at different stages. In this context, there are no delays in the delivery schedule for our Khan fighter jet. To avoid jeopardizing our mass production, we are not relying solely on a single source. We are working with various supply channels and simultaneously evaluating alternatives. This ensures both a secure schedule and the uninterrupted advancement of our national engine development roadmap. Khan's future is in no way dependent on any single country's engine. We have confidence in our engineers. The TF-35000 mass production process is proceeding as planned. All engines required for the Khan prototype aircraft have been procured and delivered to Turkey. Production of our prototype aircraft continues at full speed. The official application process to the United States for the procurement of engines needed for the first block of our Khan series aircraft, a certain number of which will be delivered to our Air Force's command, has been completed. There was a delay, and this was the first issue I addressed. Now, the responsibilities and timeline are clear. All of our responsible companies are fulfilling their duties on time, and the SSB engine department is closely monitoring the situation. Significant progress has been made in the past two years. Considering that the TF-6000 turbofan engine developed for the Anka-3 has successfully been first run, that development work for the TF-10000 for the Kizilma is ongoing, and that our development activities for the Khan fighter jet's main engine, the TF-35000, and its auxiliary power unit, the APU-60, are proceeding as planned, I would like to state that significant progress has been made in the engine field and that we can look to the future with confidence. The 48 fifth generation Khan fighter jets planned to be exported to Indonesia will be powered by our national engines, not US-made engines.